Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses first. There are no parentheses. Okay, go to exponents. We have two squared. That's our only exponent. Two by two is simply four. All right, press on, lads and lasses. You have three by four. And then you're going to subtract four, and you're going to add eight, divide it by two, and then you're going to subtract three by two. All right. Next, after... You excuse your dear Aunt Sally is you're going to mm, multiply. In other words, you have three fours, also known as 12, and then you have three twos, also known as six. And so you're going to continue with your order of operations like so. Minus the four plus the eight divided by the two, and you're going to subtract that six there. Now we have to divide. D comes next. Division. And so we are going to address 8 divided by 2. Well, you already know the answer to that. 8 divided by 2. How many 2 is going to 8, Shane? Eh? 4. <clears throat> and as always, subtract. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me. Rewind. Fast forward. Pause. Take a snack break. Whatever you got to do to power through. We're left with this. 12 minus 4 plus 4. Uh, minus 6. Wait a second. Hold on a second here. Minus four plus four. You have four, but you take away four. It's like having four pizzas and eating all four of them. They're gone. And I know I'm jumping ahead because you're not supposed to do that just yet, are you? Well, here's the good news. Four plus 12, 16. Minus four, minus six. You're gonna get the same answer either way, which is six. Now, with the order of operations, I advise you to stay in sequence. Addition and then subtraction. Here, I just couldn't pass it up, because this guy right here, any number minus itself, is a big old whopping zero. So that's why we got rid of the middle and we were left with 12 minus 6, or just 6. And as always, Bob's your uncle. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Tackle those parentheses first. Well, what goes inside these parentheses? Ooh, it's 3 by 5. Minus six plus seven and inside this parenthesis we have five minus two. It's a whole lot of action Okay, don't get scared now three by five. That's 15 and then you're gonna subtract Six and add seven. That's what's inside those parentheses <clears throat> five minus two. That's a friendly face. You know that one It's just three. Okay, we can carry on Inside these parentheses. We've got some more action. We've got two times the three that's being squared and then it's being divided by three what? okay don't panic 15 minus 6 plus 7 okay order of operations please excuse my dear aunt sally inside these parentheses we're gonna add 7 and 15 and then subtract 6 or you can say 7 minus 6 because that's addition and then subtraction you can do it either way 7 plus 15 that's 22 then you're gonna subtract six. We'll do that in the next step so that you don't get lost. But as always, pause, rewind, fast forward, get a snack, do whatever you gotta do. Two times three, you're gonna square that and then you're gonna divide by three. All right, well, what's 22 take away six? Hey, hey, hey we're getting somewhere, aren't we? 22 minus six, that's 16. Now, you can address this exponent here. 3 squared, that is 9, because the exponents come next. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. <clears throat> and then you're going to divide by 3. Don't panic here. This means multiplication to 9s. You know how to do that. 2 9s, that's 18. And now we can carry out the division. Well, how many 3s go into 18? And we could have simplified this here. Three could have gone into nine three times. Common factor of three, but we didn't. It's okay. 18 divided by three. If you have 18 pizzas, you share it with three friends. That means each friend gets six pizzas. And then you're gonna finish this problem up and it's a nice answer. You get a jolly old 10. Woohoo! Hey, I'm Smiley Face Keenum. You've been watching Keenum Burrs. You can subscribe by pressing the big red button and you can join the Greater Gators class if you have your mom, dad, or guardian. Go to the link below to watch full-length episodes. Whoa! See you next time. God bless.
Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Let's focus on these parentheses first. And nine by two, we can look at that or we can wait till the multiplication step. Doesn't matter, there's no exponents here. Let's press on. Three minus one is two. And you're gonna multiply this by six because now these parentheses act like a multiplication. You're gonna add three, which is then divided by two. And then you're gonna subtract five squared. Whoa, it's kind of scurry looking. And then you got nine by two. We'll use it as multiplication, so we'll wait to handle that exponent. The good news is five by five or five squared is an easy one. Grab your toy bricks if you need a reminder. That's 25. We're gonna subtract that and then we're gonna add nine by two. We're gonna add three divided by two. We also have six times two over here. Okay, let's worry about multiplication. We've got six by two. That's a good old 12. And we've got nine by two. That's a good old 18. Let's fill in the middle details here. We have three divided by two minus 25, and then you're gonna go, and you're gonna do your division. D for division. Three divided by two, uh, that's just 1.5. We can leave it that way as 1.5, or we can just say three divided by two, three halves, that's okay. You can also write it as one and one half, that's okay. However you wanna do it. 12 minus 25 plus 18. Haha, <laughs> that was a typo over there. Don't forget your plus signs. Carry on. We're getting attacked by minifigures. Let's do addition. 18 plus 12 plus one and a half. This is gonna be equal to 31 and a half when you do the addition. And then you're gonna finish off with subtracting 25. Well, 31 take away 25 is simply six and a half. Welcome to the bonus section. This one is scary, but it's advanced and that's why we put it in the bonus section. Remember your acronym. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally.